thinking about mastering data science and you don't know where to start from hi everyone welcome to episode 7 of data science and ai weekly in this episode we have a very interesting topic that would be relevant for you that is how to master data science in 30 days right let's get started with this episode if you have not subscribed to this podcast just go to the subscribe button and if you want to other watch other videos in this podcast just go to the playlist again it is there in the description and you can watch the rest of the videos so let's get started with episode 7 which is how to master data science in 30 days so the first question is that you must be wondering is that is it first of all even possible to master data science in 30 days and the answer clearly is no it is not possible to master data science in 30 days because data science in itself is such a vast field it takes months if not years to master it to master it and even the best of the experts can't claim themselves to be masters in data science and that's why when you are looking to get into data science what is very important is you need to know or you need to have clarity about what are the important parts and that you need to master to get into a data science job and then you need to start accordingly and this brings me to the question that if you were to master data science in 30 days and if somebody were to ask me that Manav how would you master data science in 30 days here would be my study plan and here is how I would do it uh, as I said it does not happen in one month but the goal here is just to imagine that if you were to do that how would you do that right so I would divide my 30 days into four weeks it would be a four week plan in first week what I would do is I would first of first of all I'm assuming that the premise for this is that you as a beginner do not know anything about maths do not know a lot about programming you know a little bit of programming a little bit of maths but you do not know to the extent that is required in data science so in the first week what I would do as a newbie is I would get my Python fundamentals really strong that's the first thing that I would do. I would ensure that I'm getting my hands dirty in the basic Python code. So this I would possibly do for the first three to four days. The second thing I would do in the next two to three days is get my statistics concepts very, very clear, right? So the basic statistical concepts is something that will help you in the later part of data science. And in the rest three weeks, journey will become much easier if you uh, if you would have mastered the first two steps which is learning python and learning statistics basics and doing this should be possible in one week assuming that you are doing full time and since this is the premise that here we are taking a hypothetical situation so i'm assuming that you are devoting all full day to mastering this uh, because mastering data science in 30 days while having a job is next to impossible so I'm assuming that let's say that you have block of 30 days to devote to this the second thing you would do second step step one is focus on maths and, statis and, and python in week one week two would be all about getting your hands dirty in the data analysis part so in data analysis you have you need to be very comfortable you need to master pandas well pandas is used for data transformation it should take you one to two days one to two days you should spend with numpy and then one to two days you should spend in uh, data visualization packages like matplotlet seaborn bouquet etc and then the rest two three days what you should do is bring all of these packages together into real world data science projects and implement all of these packages in a data set that you could possibly take from any source like a uc or wine data sets are pretty good you can also pick up kaggle data sets and do just basic level of data analysis so that you are comfortable with the with everything that you have learned so that is week two so week one was about mastering the fundamentals of Python and statistics. Week two is all about data analysis that I've just discussed. Week three, I would move ahead and I would move to do machine learning. And in machine learning, what I would do is I would not bother about 20, 30 learning, 20, 30 different machine learning algorithms. What I would do is I would master 
five to six machine learning algorithms that are the build machine learning that you need to know for data science. For example, I would spend one day understanding the very basics of machine learning, how is it applied, etc. I would spend day two in linear regression. I would understand the theory behind linear regression, the maths behind linear regression, the assumptions of linear regression, and I would also implement linear regression in a project. And uh, I would also see that how linear regression is used from scikit-learn library of Python. So that's how I will spend day two of the third week. Next day, day three of week three, I could potentially learn logistic regression. Day four, I can learn decision trees. Day five, I can learn random forests. And day six, I can spend on basically learning how to evaluate machine learning models since there are multiple models that can be used to solve a particular business problem. So I want to, as a data scientist, know which is the best model for me. And that's what I would do in week three. As I said, you would not want to do too many algorithms but you could take a handful of supervised machine learning algorithms and unsupervised machine learning algorithms so that you know uh, the basics. Week four, I would continue my journey into machine learning by learning some more unsupervised algorithms, right? On which I can spend two, two, three days. And the rest three days, what I would do if I have to master data science and at least call myself to be reasonably skilled in data sciences, I would implement all of this in more data sets from different industries. For example, I could pick up a credit card fraud detection data set. I could pick up a telecom data set. I could pick up a simple data set that would help you implement some of these machine learning algorithms in real world scenario, right? So this is the four week plan that you should follow if you are on a crash course, so as to speak to master data science 30 days is should be good enough to master the fundamentals but this is with the assumption that you are doing this for, on a full-time basis and uh, you don't have the luxury of spending more time which i would highly recommend so this is the four week plan to master data science from scratch week one just to recap everything week one uh, master python statistics week two focus on data analysis and exploratory data analysis. Week three, master machine learning algorithms, especially the supervised. Week four, half of the week, I would devote to unsupervised machine learning algorithms and the rest half I would spend on working on more projects, right? So this is the 30 day plan of mastering data science from scratch. Let me know what do you think about this plan and uh, leave your comments. I hope you would have loved this episode. Our goal through this a data science and AI weekly series is to help you master data science in a step-by-step in a step -step way. If you want us to cover a particular topic in an upcoming episode, leave your comment or the topic that you want me to talk about and I will sure for sure pick up the topic very soon. Thank you very much for tuning into episode 7 of Data Science and AI Weekly. My name is Manav. I'm signing off and look forward to seeing you in episode 8. eight.